Hi, this is Doug with A Twin Engineering, and today I want to show you how you might fix a tool handle if it breaks, a wooden tool handle. So I have this shovel here that I bought about 10 years ago, and uh, it broke three years ago all by itself. My kids had nothing to do with it. They didn't stomp on it at all. I, I grilled them for about an hour, but <laughs> yeah, I, I think my kids kind of jumped. You can see how the angle, uh, the shovel rests on the ground kind of like this. I think they jumped on it. Um, here's the repair uh, up close just to kick things off. You can kind of get the gist of what's going on. Uh, so the handle, as is normal with any kind of tool you buy in the hardware store nowadays, the handles are milled out of a solid piece of wood as opposed to following the grain of the wood, which would be more ideal. So in this case, it, the, the fracture happened at an angle kind of like this uh, from here to the bottom down here. And it was kind of a bummer because I really loved the shovel. I used it for everything, ice, snow, mud, rocks, dirt, whatever, bodies. And um, I didn't think that uh, I could replace the handle myself. I don't even know how that would be, be possible. Like this, it seems like you would, I would just have to buy a new shovel. But I thought, why not challenge myself and try to fix this fracture? So <clears throat> what I did is first, coat the fracture with tight blonde, <laughs> tight blonde, uh, tight bond wood glue. This is number three, ultimate. And uh, it's rated number one by the pros, so you know it's good. Uh, so you coat both sides of the fracture with the wood glue. And usually when you're using wood glue, you need uh, some, some kind of, kind of clamping or uh, weight to uh, really strengthen that bond while it's drying. So in this case, I used pipe clamps, um, which are these three like little nodes you see there. If you're not familiar with what a pipe clamp is, uh, kind of looks like this. I uh, believe they, well, it looks exactly like this. <laughs> I, I believe they're mostly used in plumbing. Uh, like if you look under your sink, you might see the pipe clamp attaching a hose to your sink or whatever. Um, I've had great success with using pipe clamps for structural purposes, and I've used and abused them for a number of years now. Uh, lots of stress tests, leaving them out in the elements. Uh, they don't really rust readily. They look a little chintzy, but um, I, I'm pretty close to putting my official stamp of approval on them for structural purposes. <laughs> and indeed, this shovel handle, this was done a few years ago, and um, it's held up very well. Uh, so. We did, so beyond the glue, the wood glue and the pipe clamp, then I also drilled two very small diameter holes through the fracture. And I stress small diameter here because you are, when you're drilling, you're taking away wood, which means you're taking away strength. Um, but nonetheless, I wanted the bolts there just for that, that extra backup layer. And uh, so that's three layers, glue, pipe clamps, bolts, and I also put this sleeve on there. Um, this is ABS, I believe, right? It's kind of like PVC, but uh, black. <laughs> uh, I, at the time I did the research and it seemed like ABS was the tougher, more durable material um, for, for, I don't know, I don't know. I, take that for what it's worth, but black looks cooler too in this particular application. And uh, you know, white would just get all scuffed up and dirty looking. So um, now, to I, for this thing, I just I, I took a length of pipe and then just cut out a small uh, uh, sliver from that pipe, so oh, a little bigger than a crack, and so you can kind of flex it open a little bit. And uh, then I had to really hammer it on here to to get it to like snap on. So it's like hammer, 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 hammer. And then it just snapped. So this thing, like I can't, you can't budge it with your hand. You can barely even move it with a hammer. So that's the fourth layer of uh, kind of structural strength to this handle now. And uh, last step is that because the handle didn't break completely cleanly, uh, there was still some gaps in the gluing, in the in the in the gluing bond. So what I do there is I just slowly drip wood glue into that crack. 
uh, wood glue, when you, let, let's say I put a drop of wood glue on the table, um, when it dries after a few hours, you're just left with like just a thin film on the table, right? That, that entire drop, most of the water, I guess, just evaporates out of it. So I had to like drip glue in there. So drip some glue, wait a few hours, drip a little more until the crack is totally sealed. Uh, this is, as far as I know, this isn't like a conventional technique, but um, I have left this shovel out in the elements for uh, many days, weeks, snow, salt, ice, mud, and uh, the glue is held up very well. So I think it's a good way to do it. Um, yeah, that's about it. I, you know, I hope this inspires you to fix your own tool handles when they break instead of buying a new one. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.